Let's talk about the weather. Here are your temperatures across the valley right now. Carrie's keeping warm with an Afghan right now. Current temperatures across the region look like this. We've dropped into the 60s every place but the island. The island is staying right near the water temperature as it always does. Here's a look at what's going to happen tonight. Our readings will drop into the low 60s. A few places will touch upper 50s, but then tomorrow, right back up in the 80s again, like today, maybe even warmer, except the beach staying in the 70s. Thursday morning, we start in the upper 60s. In the afternoon, we're back in the 80s. Let's go to Friday. Here's 8 a.m. Low 70s, a little warmer because of that southeasterly breeze. But by afternoon, back in the 80s, but then look what's lurking. By the time we get to 6 o'clock, you start to see some cooler colors showing up up there. That's our front making its way in our direction. So Friday will be the last day at 88 degrees for a while. We will cool off significantly behind that front due in the area Friday evening. Now satellite and radar over the region very quiet today. In fact, zoom back out and look at Texas. It's quiet statewide. Big high pressures built into the state. It is controlling the weather. It will move eastward to Louisiana by tomorrow, but still close enough. We don't have a lot of wind. By the time you get to Thursday, though, southeasterly wind kicks in, warms it up, makes it more humid, and that's what's going to last into Friday. And then Friday, I think our rain chances take a jump because of the added moisture in the area. Even some thunderstorms pushing through Friday night into early Saturday, but by Saturday afternoon, I think all these clouds push out. They may linger for a while, but they'll move out. Quick check and future track over the valley kind of shows you fog, then sunshine, then we go clear again tomorrow night, and then during the day time Thursday. We're mostly sunny again and Thursday night. It's quiet, but then Friday. That's when things get more interesting. Clouds and showers develop even a couple of thunderstorms as that front approaches. So the chance of rain does go up on Friday. There your chances dry, dry and 40% and maybe even up from there. Okay, let's take a look tonight. Then 58 for low, mainly clear, some patchy fog, variable winds about four to eight. Then tomorrow back to 88, some fog early, but then some sunshine southeasterly winds. Here we go. 88 for the next three days, and then we drop to 66 behind that front on Saturday. Keep in mind there could be a shower thunderstorm with the front late Friday into early Saturday, but by Saturday afternoon, the sun's back. Look at the low Sunday morning, 46 back in the 70s after that. That is your updated first one five forecast.